Hey, you too? How you doing? I hope all is well. I thank you for spending your tea time with Charlie today. It is Friday in San Francisco. Cold is all get out. We had a lot of rain here in the last week, but we need it though. And um, so just bringing you up to date what's going on with me. First of all, as I was coming into San Francisco this morning, I was listening to uh, my boy Rick Ross, and it was that Mastermind album. Boy, that album was something special because in 2014, me and my daughter was really, really struggling. And uh, we had a little green car, what well, was actually her car, and we were scooting around in that. We had not been able to uh, go anywhere outside of our area where we was living at, but we would sit in the park and listen to that Mastermind album. And it was just a reminder to me that where we were at was very temporary. But God had, in a scripture, God, the, the message talks about that I have kept you for 40 years. And in that 40 years, I did not allow anything to happen to you. That I give you the ability to get wealth. Yeah, I give you the ability to get wealth. And when I do make those crooked roads straight for you, don't you forget it was me who did it. Don't you forget it was me who made it happen. Because in the forgetting, he'll take all of that from you. And I never forgot that. That was a scripture that kept me motivated and kept me going. But, and, and that Rick Ross album, that Mastermind album, boy, if you don't have it, you, you haven't had, if you have, don't have that uh, CD, download that. Yeah, that was a powerful CD for me and my daughter. But anyway, um, I got a, uh, got a new Instagram. Hair like yours, hey! Hair like yours. That's my dot com as well. I haven't put anything up on the website yet, but I um, I'm back in business. I'm back in business. Yeah, when God give you a, a give you some talent, and it was His talent. You can't sit on it. No, you can't sit on it. You got to keep on pressing forward and do what he has called you to do with it. So for the last few months, I've been making wigs. Actually started making wigs in 95. I had a little client named Charlie, too, who came to me. And she had, uh, this is when I became familiar with lace front closures. Well, it was actually a full, it was a 360 that she had. And she was a little white lady. And I, this is when I became familiar with, this is what people in Hollywood were wearing. This is before Beyonce, you know, came out and she was wearing lace front. So I had an opportunity to take care of this lady and her hair and to learn about how to create measurements and send off. Oh, man, it, man, it was a process. It is so much easier now. But all of that, going to say what I'm saying is all of those things the, that I have collected over the years God is allowing me to use them and to really be more exposed and help more people now and um, by putting my work online so no I'm not back in the shop I'm not back in the shop but I'm working uh, helping women who have experienced some type of trauma or hair loss and they still want to be cute. They still want to be trendy. And um, I'm just excited about it. You know, when you get something down in your spirit and man, it's just off the chain, y'all. 2019 started off pretty good for me. I can't complain. Had my birthday. Hey, I turned 53 uh, on the 6th. Had the best. Had, look, my, you see how my phone fell. Had the best birthday. I had the best birthday. 
went out, had a date. Oh my goodness. And it's it's been wonderful. I can't complain at all. But um, yeah, I just wanted to come on and update you guys and let you know that I haven't forgot about you and what's going on with me. A lot of stuff in the media that's going on right now. The R. Kelly situation and as well as the president with this shutdown. Oh, that's what I want to say to you. This is, it's a bad thing, but it's a good thing for all of you that's out there working as well as myself. You cannot work a job all your life and not carve out something for yourself. Hmm. That's some tea talk right there. It doesn't matter who you work for, whether it be the government, whether it be McDonald's, whether it be Google. I don't care who it is. God has given you the ability and has given you talents that you have not exercised in. And just because a situation like this where your money has been put on hold, better yet, people love to eliminate you from a job. I've seen this multiple times with my kids. Eliminate you from a job and leave you high and dry. Take food off your table. And over again, I have reiterated to my children that you definitely have to have something going for yourself because people, it never comes at the right time. So these people who are experiencing this shutdown, who is working for the government, this is actually an opportunity for them to pull out what God has created for you, what God has given you in your hands because it's in your hands already. I always say that it's in your hands already to do what you are gifted to do. Stop playing. Do what you are gifted to do. It's somebody looking for you, okay? And that's my whole spiel on it. That's why as I'm driving these buses out here and I'm working and, and being diligent for someone else, I have to also be proactive and count and accountable to myself as in what I can do and what I can contribute. So that's how my, my hair business um, came to me and to do it online. In my spare time, on my weekends, or when I'm like what I'm on right now, I'm on a break. So if nothing else, if you hear me, create you something because you already got it. What, I mean, what's the worst they could do is say no but no is not necessarily a bad word. No is actually a motivating word. It's all in how you take it. You see what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, this is a great time, best time of the year for you to get something going that you already know how to do. Pull it out, dust it off. Hey, I had to buy me another sewing machine so I can make sure, I thought I had I had a sewing machine. I don't know what happened to it, but I had to get me another one. Went on Craigslist and got me another sewing machine. You see what I'm saying? So when you proactive of doing what you're supposed to do, good things will happen for you and things will start happening just like that. And guess what? It don't take no money to do it. Use what you got here and uh, them innovative ideas will come, your energy will draw whatever it is that you don't have. So anyway, this is Charlie, and I just wanna say thank you for spending your tea time with me today. I'm on a break, got a few minutes. I had to pop in and let you guys know what was happening with me. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be putting some of my work on my channel, and um, I, cause I thought about creating another channel, but it's not necessary. I got you guys, I got your attention right now. So anyway, you take care, have a great weekend, and we'll talk soon.